Hi, my name's Simon from Motodrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, Series 1 2 litre petrol uh, that looks like an RAF police vehicle. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, starting and idling action at the beginning of the driving video. Hope you like them. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, Series 1 <coughs> 2 litre petrol hardtop. Um, done to represent an RAF police airfield vehicle, or well, certainly RAF police. It's certainly ex-military, but I haven't been through the history yet, so I don't know if it's actually an ex-RAF vehicle, but it's certainly ex-military. Let's take a little walk around it. Actually, we won't take a little walk around it because the camera seems to be struggling to focus on it, so we'll just concentrate on doing what we do best, which is pointing out bits and bobs. Um, from the front, you've got bridge plate, you've got military style um, marker lights, wing mirrors, aerial mount over there, spare wheel on the bonnet, military light surrounds. Obviously been painted in military style, so in other words, everything's been painted. Um, and it's got the flashing beacon on the roof floor. That is that is not connected. I think it's illegal to have one connected, actually. Um, near side front wing all looks pretty good. Some of the paint on top of the near side front wing is a little poor, just on the top there. Um, looking underneath it, it actually seems to be in pretty good shape, actually. in terms of its chassis. Bulkhead, a couple of areas just there where it's corroded slightly. But across there, all looks good, screens look nice, roof is as it should be. Passing the door, let the door go all the way back. proper sprung steering wheel. Its original colour is bronze green and it has got a, uh, a two-man bench seat in the back and three in the front so I suppose in theory it can seat five. So here. Some holes that are supposed to be there in the um, in the footwell. Pretty good on the bulkhead edge there. There's its military data plate. Near side rear wing. As I say, the paint is functional military. So you have got a few blemishes on it here and there. Again, looking under here. Apparently had to have one plate on it for its last MOT on the chassis, but um, we're told there are no other plates on it whatsoever. And looking underneath it myself, that seems to be correct. Around the tail end, it's got NATO tow hook on it. Usual dent in the tailgate, there and there. Cat flap style. Tailgate. And it looks like the cross member on this side has, has obviously um, been towing something where they've, or presumably towing something, or they've backed it into something so it's pushed the cross member in a little bit on the offside. under here decent set of 600 by 16 tires And 
inside. And so we've got the three seats across the front, which are all in good shape. Door goes back and to the wing, which it should. And again, footwell's all pretty good. Showing 58,000 miles, how correct that is. Anybody's guess, I think. Let's see what the history says. Anyway, I think there we have it. It's a charming little thing, actually. Be noisy with the hard top on, but uh, they are what they are. Anyway, hope you like it.